We are the Van Wives. I'm Crystal. I'm Jasmine. And we travel in our van around the world with our two dogs. We are both actually born and raised in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Before we started traveling the van, Jasmine and I both worked full time and we would travel as often as we could, whether that meant packing in our car or flying abroad for a few weeks. And then one day I was reading online that someone traveled with a dog in a van and we had two dogs and I said, how is this possible? So I did more research on how you can build a van that is suitable for a dog and that was it. We flew across our country, bought a van, drove it back, did a big road trip, it was a good test drive of like 4,000 kilometers and it ended up being our home. When we started our van journey to the west coast of Canada, we found out about the Pan American route and that you can actually drive from Alaska to Argentina. We decided that we have to start documenting our travels. So we went on YouTube and learned some skills of how to put together a video and how to even take a video. How to tell a story. Yeah, how to tell a story and that's how YouTube became a thing. Our journey has definitely for sure changed us as people. We are leading a happier, more fulfilled life. We're much more conscious of what we consume as well, living mm -hmm. this lifestyle. We are constantly thinking about the things that we're consuming. Yeah, constantly reading labels of what's in our food, how it's made, and not just like thinking about where we're getting it, but like the transportation time that the food had to come here. So yeah, we're much more aware, I would say, and like really grateful for what we have, even though it's not much, but it's still a lot to us. It's everything that we need. We always said we want to have what we need instead of what we want. It's not about the things that we have, it's about the world out there that's waiting for you to discover. Yeah. The things that we love most about van life is being able to travel deeper, uh, to go off the beaten path. So instead of traveling for you know a few weeks or a few months, we've now been traveling for almost two years. Um, we've been completely nomadic. If you love travel or you know you love exploring places to a whole new level, living in a van does allow you to do that. The geography that we've learned is absolutely insane. I feel like I could tell you where everything is on a map now that we drove it. As well as the van life community is absolutely amazing. Just because everyone lives in a van doesn't mean everyone's the same. Just like if everyone lives in a house, they're not always the same. So it's really amazing to meet so many different unique people that all have like that one little thing in common of like living in a van. As a couple, as a team, we work together. Live together, we, everything we together. We spend a lot of time together and we live in a very tiny home. Oftentimes there are stressful times when you're on the road and mm -hmm. you know tensions can get high, um, but we have to make it a priority to have me time. So Jasmine will be in the back editing or working, I'll be in the front reading a book. Or... Which doesn't seem like a lot of space <laughs> to a lot of people, but it is, it's still like- It's very important. Separate spaces. Yeah. Or another good thing is the dogs are honestly like our grounding. So one will take one dog, the other take the other dog, or you just go for a walk with both dogs to give yeah. you that individual space because individual time is very important and you can't sacrifice it or you're pretty much sacrificing your relationship if you don't do it. I think from the start we were always inspired. I don't think we had any major doubts, but we did have setbacks and we did have challenges. Yeah. Um, but nothing that made us doubt what we were doing. Some of the most difficult moments while we're traveling is breakdowns. I think when I got into van life I just like was so naive and I thought that we she would never, never break down. thought our van would break down even though it's 13 years old and it obviously is gonna break down. We've had many breakdowns more than I can count and I think mm -hmm. the biggest thing was learning how to react because your reaction is truly everything and since we've learned how to react during these tough times we've now created a stronger bond. When these moments happen, Jasmine and I put our heads together, we work together, and we figure out how to solve the issues. And we've been able to fix the engine a few times, yeah. which has been very helpful and very empowering while on the road. Yeah, so your breakdowns end up teaching you something, which is really good to look at instead of thinking, oh, it's the end of the world, and acting on emotion. Most of the time, you can fix it yourself. And everything will be OK. <laughs> yeah. The best piece of advice that I could give from our experience on the road is to roll with the punches. You really yeah. don't know what each day is going to bring and for that reason we do kind of plan where we're going but everything is always up in the air. You never know when you're going to hit a roadblock or if you're going to break down and yeah you never know what's really happening in your day so just to literally go with the flow because when you slow down and you live life in the slow lane it just becomes so much more enjoyable. Some advice that we could give to an aspiring female traveler is to get out there and do it. It's okay to be fearful and not feel courageous, but you do have that inside of you and you will find it as you start the journey. There are tons of resources and there is a huge community of people who are also doing it and are also there for you. 
and obviously some things can be very scary and nerve-wracking but at the end of the day everything actually really works out how it's supposed to and if you just jump in two feet forward you're going to be successful and you're going to be happy. Also there's a lot of good in the world. I think a lot of negative is always portrayed in the media but there's so many good people out in the world and they're always there to help you and if you don't go and do it you'll never find out. It's not all bad. It's actually more good than bad. Travel is self-discovery. It's finding out who I am, who we are, through other people, through other cultures, connecting with other humans on the other side of the world, and they in turn make us a better person, we make each other better, and we become a big community in this world.